The Monetary Authority of Singapore has researched 69 monetary unions that were dissolved since the end of the Second World War. It found that remarkably little macroeconomic volatility uh, happened around the time of currency union dissolutions. I'm sure they were all irrevocable until the moment they turned out not to be. Uh, Moreover, throughout history, we haven't seen a single instance of monetary union that didn't necessitate over time political union. If you believe the euro is here to stay, if you support, still support the single currency in Europe, does this imply that you are a supporter and perhaps believe it's necessary for the eurozone to develop into a political union, a full political union mm. over time? Thank you. Well, first of all, let me just uh, remind ourselves about the, uh, what we call the Eurobarometer, namely that uh, poll that's been made. Uh, and uh, the last poll we have is last autumn, still shows a support for the Euro in the Eurozone around 70% and on average, and, uh, and it's uh, over 50% in all countries. But 56% of the Dutch would prefer a future outside of the EU, another opinion poll showed. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm quoting the Eurobarometer now. Second point is, um, is basically um, that, as I said, if you ask the ECB president, he will say, he will tell you that the Euro has been a success. And so it's only a matter of time for the citizens of the Eurozone, all citizens, because 70% already understand that, but, uh, but the others will soon acknowledge the benefits of this. Third, uh, last week, uh, well, 10 days ago, I had been invited to give a speech at the Jean Monnet Foundation. On that occasion, I had the opportunity to read some of his, uh, of his writings. In his view, there was no doubt that the sequence is single market, single currency, political union. And that's still the case. But is it tomorrow? No. When is it? We don't know. Why? Because you need to satisfy the two conditions, namely trust, trust in the compliance with the rules, trust in the compliance with the governance of the Eurozone, and convergence. We can't have a union with divergent countries. Thank you. Thank you very much. And excuse me, just let me add, and we can't have a union where you have permanent debtors and permanent creditors. There has to be convergence.